Chevy Chase, a familiar face in classic Hollywood, prompts the question when did you first recognize him? Among his legendary works, which do you believe defined his career? Share your cherished memories or personal experiences related to this iconic actor in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories. Stay tuned for intriguing facts, funny, shocking, and even sad. Keep watching for more insights into the life of this Hollywood legend. Chevy Chase, a stalwart in the realm of classic Hollywood, boasts an impressive filmography that spans decades. For those unfamiliar with his work, diving into his cinematic journey can be a rewarding experience. One of Chevy Chase's earliest breakthroughs came with the iconic film Caddyshack, where he showcased his comedic prowess alongside an ensemble cast. His deadpan humor and impeccable timing left an indelible mark, setting the stage for his future endeavors. In the world of National Lampoon, Chevy Chase became a household name with National Lampoon's vacation. As the bumbling yet lovable Clark Griswold, he navigated hilariously disastrous family trips, solidifying his status as a comedic genius. Fans of Chevy Chase would be remiss not to explore Fletch, a detective comedy where he effortlessly blends wit and charm as investigative reporter Erwin M. Fletcher. The film resonates with its sharp humor and showcases Chase's multifaceted talent beyond slapstick comedy. For those seeking a dose of holiday hilarity, Christmas Vacation stands as a must-watch. Chase reprised his role as Clark Griswold, delivering a festive comedy that has become a perennial favorite during the holiday season. In the 90s, Chase ventured into family-friendly territory with Man of the House, where he played an undercover agent protecting a key witness. The film's blend of action and comedy adds another layer to Chevy Chase's diverse repertoire. Newcomers to Chevy Chase's filmography might find Funny Farm to be a gem worth discovering. This comedy, centered around a couple's move to the countryside, showcases Chase's ability to bring relatable humor to the big screen. In summary, Chevy Chase's filmography is a testament to his enduring presence in Hollywood. Whether it's the slapstick antics of the Griswold family or the clever wit of Fletch, there's a movie for every taste in his repertoire. So embark on this cinematic journey and discover the comedic legacy of Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase's career is marked by key milestones and achievements that showcase his comedic brilliance and versatility on the silver screen. One of his earliest breakthroughs was in the iconic film Caddyshack, where he displayed impeccable comedic timing alongside an ensemble cast. This movie marked the beginning of his journey as a household name in Hollywood. Transitioning seamlessly into the world of National Lampoon, he solidified his status with National Lampoon's vacation. As the lovable yet bumbling Clark Griswold, he embarked on hilariously disastrous family trips, leaving an enduring imprint as a comedic genius. Beyond slapstick comedy, he demonstrated his multifaceted talent in Fletch, a detective comedy where he effortlessly blended wit and charm as investigative reporter Erwin M. Fletcher. The film resonates with sharp humor, revealing another layer of his comedic repertoire. For holiday hilarity, Christmas Vacation stands out as a must-watch, with Chase reprising his role as Clark Griswold. The festive comedy has become a perennial favorite during the holiday season, showcasing his enduring presence in the film industry. Venturing into family-friendly territory in the 90s, he starred in Man of the House, portraying an undercover agent protecting a key witness. The film's blend of action and comedy added yet another dimension to his diverse repertoire. Newcomers to his filmography might discover the gem Funny Farm, a comedy centered around a couple's move to the countryside. This film showcases his ability to bring relatable humor to the big screen, appealing to a broad audience. In summary, Chase's career highlights encompass a range of comedic genres, from slapstick antics to clever wit, leaving an indelible mark on Hollywood. His enduring legacy is evident in the timeless appeal of his films, offering something for every taste in the cinematic landscape. Chevy Chase faced legal trouble in 1980 after making a controversial comment about Cary Grant's sexuality in a television interview. Grant filed a slander lawsuit against him, leading to an out-of-court settlement. This incident added a contentious chapter to his career. During his time on Weekend Update, he developed a quirky habit. Whenever he stumbled over his words, he would humorously utter the phrase toy boat. This lighthearted approach to on-air slip-ups became a trademark of his comedic style. In his earlier years, Chase demonstrated academic prowess as he earned the title of valedictorian in his high school class. 
This achievement hinted at the intelligence behind the comedic persona that would later define his Hollywood career. At the pinnacle of his career, Chevy Chase commanded a hefty paycheck of around $7 million per film, a testament to his prominence in Hollywood. However, his journey to stardom was far from glamorous. Before establishing himself as a comedic force, he toiled in various roles from cab driver and truck driver to motorcycle messenger, waiter, busboy, construction worker, audio engineer, produce manager in a supermarket, salesman in a wine store, and theater usher. One intriguing aspect of his talents is his possession of perfect pitch, a rare ability to identify the pitch of musical notes without a point of reference. This unique skill showcases the depth of his abilities beyond the comedic realm. In the midst of his successful career, he faced a legal hiccup in 1980 when a controversial comment about Cary Grant's sexuality in a television interview led to a slander lawsuit. Grant filed the suit, resulting in an out-of-court settlement. This incident added a contentious chapter to his otherwise illustrious career. Not just a comedian, his academic prowess was evident in high school, where he earned the distinction of valedictorian. This intellectual achievement hinted at the intelligence behind the comedic persona that would go on to define his Hollywood legacy. In summary, his journey from varied odd jobs to comedic stardom, coupled with his unique musical aptitude and the occasional legal turbulence, paints a picture of a multifaceted individual whose talents extend beyond the silver screen. In an interview, he openly shared the emotional toll of his 2 and 2 roast, revealing that the comments and jokes directed at him genuinely hurt. The roast, known for its unusually harsh tone, left him so depressed that he spent most of the night sobbing in his hotel room. It took roast master Paul Schaefer's consolation to ease his distress. This episode marked a rare moment of vulnerability for the seasoned actor. A trailblazer in the world of comedy, he made history as the first person to utter the iconic phrase, live from New York, it's Saturday night, on the debut of Saturday Night Live in 1975. This milestone set the stage for his influential career in the realm of sketch comedy. Interestingly, he turned down the opportunity to voice Buzz Lightyear in Toy Story. Despite his interest in the project, his agent strongly advised against it. Regrettably, he had to pass on the role, which eventually went to Tim Allen. This decision showcases the behind-the-scenes dynamics and the sometimes challenging choices faced by actors in their careers. Reflecting on his career, it's evident that beyond the laughter and success, there were moments of vulnerability and tough decisions. These aspects provide a more nuanced perspective on the actor's journey in the ever-evolving landscape of Hollywood. Chevy Chase declined the role of Peter Venkman in Ghostbusters, which eventually went to Bill Murray. According to him, the final film differed significantly from the script he had read, emphasizing that it was notably scarier than the actual movie. Despite turning down the role, he did make at least one visit to the set, as evidenced by a photo of him on the temple steps featured in Don Shea's book Making Ghostbusters. Following his tenure on SNL, Chase underwent back surgery due to the numerous comedic falls he endured on stage during that time. This physical toll attest to the commitment he brought to his comedic performances. In 1995, repercussions for his behavior when guest hosting Saturday Night Live led to a ban on him hosting the show, although he has made cameo appearances since. This incident shed light on the challenges that sometimes accompany the collaborative nature of the entertainment industry. In various facets of his career, he encountered both professional highs and personal challenges, from navigating the intricacies of script adaptations to facing physical consequences and dealing with the fallout of his actions on a beloved television show. Such experiences add layers to the narrative of his Hollywood journey, 